There are a lot of things to look for when you want to lower your vehicle. Let's talk about that today. Hey everyone, I'm Casey. This is Damien. We're here today to talk to you about different ways on how to lower your car. There are a lot of varieties in how to do that, but there are also a lot of things to consider. Damien, what are some good options to maybe look at when you want to start thinking about it? Well, the first thing that you want to look at is what type of suspension the vehicle has. Do you have a solid axle with leaf springs? Do you have an independent suspension? Um, are you looking at drop spindles, lowering springs? Are you looking at doing coilovers? Are you looking at doing an airbag system? You know, there's a lot of different ways to do it. Each one has its various um, pros and cons that are going to come up, um, but you know, they're, they're all going to have the same issues when you lower the vehicle. There are a lot of different options to consider when you want to lower your vehicle, um, depending on what you want to do with it, uh, what's it designed for. There are a lot of things to consider. Damien, what are some options that they can look at? Well, from a, a budget standpoint, Cutting factory springs or lowering springs, lowering blocks, those are all inexpensive ways to get the vehicle down. Uh, drop spindles are gonna help get the vehicle lowered. Uh, and then we start moving into adjustable ride height options with coilovers and then air suspension. Okay, and what are some of the pros and cons that people wanna maybe consider when looking? Well, pro, you know, for a, a lowering spring or a block, cost is definitely a pro there. Uh, they are relatively inexpensive, but they are going to give you a fixed ride height. So if you buy a two inch lowering spring, it might give you two inches plus or minus, uh, but it is what it is. If you do lowering blocks on a leaf spring application, um, you know, that can cause wheel hop. So take into consideration how you're using the vehicle. If it's going to be a drag race vehicle, lowering blocks are not the way to go. Uh, drop spindles are a good option. They're going to get the vehicle down. They're not going to make too much of a difference with the geometry. They might push the track width out a little bit, depending on the brand and how much or application. Uh, moving up from there, then we've got coilovers where you have some ride height adjustability. You can level the vehicle out left to right. You know, most of these systems we're looking at stock height to two inches lower and anywhere in between. So that's a good good application where you can cure the Chevy lean, you know, get the car leveled out left to right. If you're the type of person that wants to roll into a car show, set the rockers on the ground and air the suspension out, air it up, drive away, you know, air suspension would be something to look at. Some of the cons on an air suspension, it is more complex. You're going to have a compressor, lines, air tanks, and just like your air compressor at home in your shop, it's probably going to leak. Regardless of how you lower the suspension, you wanna look at clearance. Uh, tire to body clearance, can you turn lock to lock with your steering yet? Um, you know, a lot of truck applications, for example, you're doing a C-notch in the frame or a bridge, so you have axle to frame clearance. You also, in some applications, you need to look at drive shaft clearance in the tunnel. You know, you lower the vehicle enough, the drive shaft could actually hit the body. Um, alignment would be another consideration and making sure that you can still achieve a, a drivable ride height where you're not going to tear up your tires. So what about pinion angle? Does that ever become an issue when you want to lower your vehicle? Yep, pinion angle is going to change with the vehicle. You know, the rear suspension's moving through an arc and as you lower it, that angle of the pinion is going to change. If you've got a leaf spring, you're going to be looking at doing tapered shims or some other method or, you know, a four link or something where you can actually adjust the pinion angle. Ground clearance in general with headers, oil pans, in some cases the frame itself sure. could be an issue. So all, all things to look at regardless of how the vehicle is lowered. Uh, you want to look at how you're using your vehicle performance wise. You know, a lowering block probably isn't going to be a good option on a drag vehicle because that's gonna help induce axle wrap. So there are certain applications to, of like what you should consider what you wanna do. So maybe like you said, drag shouldn't probably use lowering blocks. So what would maybe be a better option for a drag setup? If you're doing a drag race vehicle, doing a lowering leaf spring might be a good option. Or maybe you wanna look at going to a four link with coilovers, something that's gonna get your vehicle down, but not allow that, that axle to wrap up and cause tire shake or wheel hop. If you're doing a pro touring vehicle, you know, drop spindles are gonna help get the vehicle low along with coilovers so you can tune your ride height and get the vehicle leveled out or maybe you wanna corner balance the vehicle. The coilovers are gonna give you that option and combining that with the drop spindle, it's gonna give you a, 
good low ride height, but that, that gets us back to wheel and tire clearance. Are you gonna have enough clearance? We've talked about how to lower your vehicle, what to look out for, and keep your application in mind when you do lower it. For more information, check us out on QA1.net, check out our other tech videos on the YouTube channel, or reach out to us on social media. That's me. Thanks for watching, guys. And go drive it.